This is All India Radio. Welcome to the business news program Money Matters, a program that brings you the latest news from various segments of stock markets, business, economy, investment, corporates and agriculture. We wish our listeners a very happy and prosperous new year. I am Kamal Saxena and I am joined in on phone line by our senior economic journalist Puneet Jain. Welcome to the program Puneet ji and wish you a profitable and prosperous new year. Thank you Kamal, thank you so much. First the headlines, stock markets open higher on the very first trading day of the new year. Sensex rises 222 points, Nifty adds 48 points in the afternoon trade. Major auto major Maruti Suzuki's monthly sales jump 14.6% in December 2020 and government says more than 60 lakh and 67000 paddy farmers benefit from minimum support price in the current kharif marketing season On the very first day of the year 2021 stock markets continued to rally and were trading with solid gains So the Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange rose 222 points or 0.5% to trade at 47973 in the afternoon trade a short while ago. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange advanced 48 points or 0.3% to 14029. Both the Sensex and Nifty hit a new intraday highs during the day. In the broader market the BSE mid cap index added 1.3% and the small cap index climbed 1%. Puneet ji coming to uh, the the movement in the market how was the market today any specific uh, activity that is of significance here on the first day of the uh, of the uh, trading session in the year uh, 2021. So Kamal uh, like you can see you just said Markets are on a roll. They, they, they've done very well in 2020, and they continue to rise. At least on the first day of this year, they continue to do very well. Uh, of, uh, the uh, Sensex is almost near 48,000, which is closest to the psychological level of 50,000 levels. Uh, Nifty is also 14,000 plus. I think the most important thing that we have seen in last uh, two or three days, which is supporting this market, is basically very strong automobile sales. which uh, by by passenger car vehicles and other uh, vehicles which suggests that economic activity is doing very well today also we got uh, just got the data from gst collections and they are at all time high of 1.15 lakh crores which shows that the economy continues to do very well and i think stock markets are really responding to that good news on the economic front and and that's why we are seeing such strong uh, performance by automobile shares by psu banking shares today in fact psu banking shares are up by 3 4% they're doing very well so markets across the board are doing well today uh, coming uh, talking about the economy uh, there were there was an opinion saying that uh, uh, this uh, this rise in the economy you know economic growth is actually from the pent up demand but how does these data uh, the way uh, gst collection has moved up and it's at its highest how do you see all those things together so uh, it is true that initially the economy did well because of this pent up demand but i don't think that is true now because if we look at uh, november december uh, uh, we've seen consistent increase in gst collections and for last three months the collections have been above 1 lakh crore every month and now we have touched all time high so clearly i think this is much more than this flash in the pan i think it is more sustained economic activity and and the recovery has really surprised everybody even economists and uh, most most ob- most observers I, i think economy is showing a lot of strength uh, much more than uh, just the pent up demand i think this is long term trend of economic revival in the country uh, puneet ji i request you to be uh, to stay online because i am going to read uh, more news In car sales news, country's largest car maker Maruti Suzuki has reported a 14.6% year-on-year growth in domestic sales at 1 lakh 40 thousand units in December 2020. The total sales of mini cars Alto and Espresso rose 4.4% to 24,927 units. In compact vehicle segments like Wagoner, Swift, Celario, Ignis, Boleno, Desire, Tor S. the sales jumped 18.2% to 77641 units but sales of seas slumped nearly 29% to 
to 1,270 units last December. So, like you said, that uh, auto sales are doing very well, and this is getting reflected in the car sales, monthly car sales figures of different companies. There are few data, uh, uh, com few companies which are yet to issue data for the last month. But how do you see this uh, specifically considering, considering the auto sector? So, if you look at the top three car makers in India, uh, basically Maruti, followed by Hyundai, and followed by Tata Motors. All three have reported very strong growth in sales numbers. For Maruti, like you mentioned, it is growth is 15%. In case of Hyundai also, it has gone up by in double digit. And Tata Motors has reported a sale of almost increase of 50% in the sales year on year. So clearly, uh, and, and companies like Mahindra and Mahindra, companies like Escorts, even in uh, those who are not in uh, essential vehicles, but in agricultural equipment, they are also reporting very good sales in tractors, etc. So I think, again, like the earlier theme that we were talking, this is an economic revival which is across the board. And, and I think it is a very sustainable growth. It is not just that it is one month growth and then it comes down. I, I think these numbers show that the growth is, is here than uh, we had anticipated. And now moving on to news from agricultural sector. Government has said that more than 60 lakh 67,000 paddy farmers have been benefited from current Kharif marketing season procurement operations with minimum support price value of over 90,502 crore rupees. Agriculture Ministry said around 480 lakh tons of paddy has been procured from various states. It said government continues to procure Kharif crops at its minimum support price for farmers as per its existing MSP schemes. The ministry said approval was accorded for procurement of over 51 lakh tons of pulse and oil seeds from states under price control price support scheme. A quantity of over 73 lakh cotton bales valuing more than 21,000 crore rupees has been procured benefiting over 14 lakh farmers. Uh, Puneet, before you uh, react on this story, I would like to take another story which is related with uh, tractor sales. Farm Equipment Major Escorts Agri Machinery has reported an 88% spurt in tractor sales at 7,733 units in December 2020. Domestic tractor sales during last month shot up 90% to 7,230 units. So, Puneet, how do you uh, how do you read these two stories together? Uh, tractor sales are um, rising, uh, rose 90 percent in December, and uh, paddy season uh, seems to be quite quite uh, profitable to the to the farmers. Absolutely, and uh, so there are two things. One is that clearly the income in the farm sector they have really uh, done extremely well this year. Uh, not only monsoons were good, production was good, but uh, we've seen the prices also move higher. So the incomes for farmers have really gone up. And that is reflected in the sales of equipment like tractors, which have almost doubled in case of escorts, as you mentioned. So clearly, I think in the farm, uh, farm sector, that part of the economy has really surprised observers, and it has done very well. And those numbers are before us now. And to uh, just before we end the bulletin, uh, there is news from corporate sector. Reliance Infra today announced completion of sale of its Delhi Agra toll road to Cube Highways and infrastructure for 3,600 crore rupees. A brief reaction, if you can bring out with. So uh, this uh, infrastructure investments now are moving into stronger hands and basically into long-term funds. So Cube Highways is, is a long-term investor in infrastructure stocks and infrastructure uh, assets. So I think this will do a lot of good to financing of long-term uh, financing. I'm afraid, Paniji, I have to stop it here And uh, as, we, uh, we, as we conclude the program. Thank you for being on the program. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Before we close, a reminder of the headlines. Stock markets open higher on the very first trading day of the new year. Sensex rises 220 points. Nifty adds 48 points in the afternoon trade. Auto major Maruti Suzuki's monthly sales jump 14.6% in December 2020. And government says more than 60 lakh and 67,000 paddy farmers benefit from minimum support price. And that's it is in the edition of Money Matters. For now, goodbye.